and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I look like a tangerine because I fake tanned last night and I have orange palms because I, I did not use a tan mitt which is very silly of me. But anyway in today's video I am actually just doing a little Q&A like video or answering questions I've been avoiding type of thing. It's both of those type of videos kind of mixed into one. I mean it is the same video pretty much. I'm going to be answering your guys' questions because I actually asked you guys on Instagram to basically give me some questions to answer and I have a few. It's been up for an hour now so I am going to answer them but yeah like you look at the state of my you look at the state of my hands on there how awful is that yeah, but yeah I've kind of I was feeling really pale lately so I kind of thought, well, I just want to bronze myself up a bit and I fancied using the darker foundation today so I thought, well, I'm going to go for it. So yeah, I feel really out of breath because I keep hiccuping and it's due my absolute bloody head in. Right, it yours. So first question is, oh my god, these hiccups are doing my head in. Susanna asked, biggest accomplishment so far this, this year and it has to be start my own business because I don't think I could have ever done this at oh my god any other time this is really annoying me because starting up your own business is a very scary it can put you through a lot of stress and anxiety and it can cause you to kind of have a breakdown and that did happen to me last week I was just I was just getting so stressed because I was worried of like Am I going to be able to stay open when I have quieter weeks? And I've really struggled with that. And the last week was a really quiet week for me. And I think I started to panic because obviously I also have to pay the rent at my room. And I think I was just panicking a bit because obviously it's a big responsibility. Oh my god, these hiccups! It is a big responsibility to be in charge of your own business. But... I am very proud of myself and it's definitely one of the things that I am most proud of this year that I've achieved. And if any of you guys have been thinking about doing something for a while, just go for it. Like, I know it can be daunting but you've got to take risk, risks in life and without Scott, I do not think I would have been able to do it by myself because obviously he has his own business <laughs> and... Yeah, I just, I think he's obviously helped me because he, he kind of started out first and then like because he's kind of learnt the things, he's kind of helped me start up. So yeah, I, I'm very proud of starting up my own business and I wish I could get rid of these hiccups right now. <laughs> the next question is from Jamie. Will you and Scott get married? Well, oh, well, I don't know about this one. I mean, I, I would absolutely love to. But at the moment, we are still young, we are very stressed at the moment, we have a lot of responsibilities, we cannot afford to move out and get married at the moment, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, and I think we want to kill each other right now. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of joking. I mean, I think because we met in the lockdown, we didn't have any responsibilities, so all of our free time was basically spent on each other. And since everything kind of opened up again and we went back to work and our businesses I feel as if we've got those sort of things to focus on and I think we've definitely not drifted but I think you kind of you obviously don't get to spend as much time with each other as you used to I mean it's a start of like any start of a normal relationship anyway even if it wasn't in lockdown you'd spend all the time with each other but I think we kind of know how to keep ourselves occupied, we don't have to be with each other 24-7, we don't have to be on the phone all the time. I mean, you know, we still get to see each other two or three times a week, which I think is pretty good considering we live in two separate parts of Cumbria. So I think it's fairly good how we can manage that. But in terms of marriage, I think for me, I would obviously love to in the future, but I think in a few years, I don't feel, I don't feel old enough to be in a wedding dress and walk down the aisle, I'll absolutely poo myself, literally. Next one is from, oh what is she called, I think she's called Zatunya, 
Sorry if I've got that wrong. You'll correct me. How long have you and Scott been together for? We have been together for... But wait, I, I need to count. January, February, March, April, May. A year and four months. It feels... It actually feels if you've been going out for longer. It's not feel... Like, it can't be a year and four months. No. A year and a half? You've got together at the 4th of July? No, what am I doing? It isn't a year and four months at all. It'll be like a year and eight months, nine months. Because how many months away? May, June, July... Yeah, a year and nine months already. And I am surprised we've not killed each other yet. Bonsi, I do love him. And I wouldn't have him any other way. <laughs> Cringe. The next one is... What I got icks. If you don't know what icks are, it's basically like put offs or the things you absolutely like despise and stuff. It's basically just that basically. I think the main one for me is when somebody doesn't brush their teeth. Like I have to brush my teeth two to three times a day, and if somebody doesn't brush their teeth, that it just gives me the ache. Also, if someone I absolutely hate this one, it's absolutely disgusting. You know, when somebody does not wash their hands after going to the toilet, I do not care if you've just had like a wee or a number two, but you just need to wash your hands. Like, even if you're a man, like, you've been touching your bits and stuff, and that's just disgusting. Like, and you can still get a bit of wee on you, or even worse, a bit of poo, which is disgusting. And if somebody does not wash their hands after going to the toilet, I am sorry, but that is actually disgusting. I hate that, and that is one of my most worst icks I can think of right now. Yeah, there's probably loads more, but yeah, I, I think it's just good to be hygiene and stuff. If you're not good with like the washing every day and stuff, and like I understand you washing your hair. I mean, I try to wash mine every two days now, but I mean, like if you don't have like a shower every day or use deodorant, oh my god, this is another one. When somebody does not use deodorant and it just think of be all like. I'm sure that is very off-putting and that is a lot of people's icks but that is actually disgusting. I hate that. If you do not use deodorant, I don't know how you are still not using it up until this day. But yeah, disgusting. But yeah, so they are my icks. I obviously have more than one. I could probably have up to 100 probably but I just have to think about it. Yeah, so another one is... When do you plan to have children? Right. So, I used to say to myself, I'm going to be 23, you're going to have a first child because my mum had to meet at 23 and looking at it now, I will be 23 in less than three years, it'll be like two and a half years or something and I just think to myself like, how am I going to be able to afford it? Because obviously the price of everything has gone up, secondly, I do not feel like I will be responsible enough to have a child. So I used to say 23 but now I say 24, 25 and I know that isn't that much of a big age gap but I would hate to be an older mum. I would hate to be having like, my first child at 30. There's nothing wrong with having your first child at 30 but I just think because all of my family members on my mum's side have been the younger mums and stuff. I would hate to be like 30 having my first child because I'd love to you would be younger and then by the time I am 30, mid 30s, it'll possibly it'd be nearly teenagers, kind of like, they'd be more responsible for themselves, be able to look after themselves and then, yeah, it just gives you like an easier life further down the line, I think. But yeah, but obviously, if I wasn't in a good financial position and I wasn't stable enough to look after a child in a few years, I even have one, then obviously I wouldn't have one, but when the time is right, I'd say... You obviously can't, like, you put on the age of having a child because you just you never know what can happen. Like, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, this question gets asked all the time and it is, what is your favourite designer brand? I think it's because of my design videos on my channel. But I would have to say my favourite designer brand, I think, in general, I would probably say... Louis Vuitton 
Yeah, but then again, I really like Dior at the moment, so I probably have to say they're on par because I absolutely love the handbags. I absolutely love their kind of shoes and stuff, and hopefully there should be some sort of haul coming up soon. I don't know when, but you will have to wait and see. But yeah, so I'd say the Louis Vuitton and Dior. But the only thing is with like THK and other the design, well, the designer sites and stuff. I feel as if the Louis Vuitton the duplicates are very fake, kind of looking compared to the real items. Compared to like the other design items, for example, Chanel uh, dupes and stuff look very, very, very similar to like the real stuff. But I feel like the Louis Vuitton dupes are very hit and miss. You know what I mean? If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I've not actually travelled to a lot of places in my life but if I had to say somewhere where it was in the UK for example I'll probably have to say Liverpool or Leeds because I really like them cities I've never they kind of felt like I really wanted to go again as much as those two places compared to like Manchester for example or Newcastle um, but definitely Liverpool because everyone's so friendly and I just I really like the city and I kind of knew my way around more compared to other places. I know that in Newcastle I obviously know my way around because I live very close to there and I have obviously been a lot of times. But probably Liverpool because like it was my first time I just really liked it. However, if I had to say in a different country of where I would love to live, um, I, I would probably say Spain. Possibly or maybe... The Lanzarote, because I mean, like the Lanzarote, but I don't know. Like, I think I need to visit more places before I can have like a definite answer on that. Because I mean, it means Scott are going to Croatia soon, so I'm very excited. It'll be May time, and I have been shopping a lot, but yeah, I'm really excited because tomorrow I actually have the like the best parcel arriving. I'm hoping it fits me as well. It's a Zara parcel, and I ordered a beautiful dress, so I'm hoping it fits, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I'd say Liverpool and maybe Spain. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. If you had to eat any food for the rest of your life, what would it be? This is obviously a no-brainer. It has to be roast potatoes. I cannot tell you how much I love roast potatoes on Sunday dinner. They have to be crispy. You have to have a lot of gravy with them. And they've got to be fluffy inside. The roast potatoes, I never used to like them. I don't know why I was such a weirdo when I was the younger, but I absolutely hate roast potatoes and mash. I don't even know. But I think, like, any type of carb, pretty much I will absolutely love it. The roast potatoes, when I die, if I am on the deathbed or something and I'm literally on the verge of dying, I will want a bowl of roast potatoes and gravy. I sound like I'm such a typical British person. The roast potatoes are such like a British thing and gravy. It's got to be chicken gravy as well. Oh my god, that'll be my dream. I'm really excited for Sunday now. It's actually making me excited for Sunday. Like, I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't wait. Are you planning any secret projects? I'd say no for this one because I am not like the typical like a YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers who's like, oh, I've got like a secret project going on. However, I do, I do have some videos in the making with some brands and stuff. So I, I suppose it, it kind of is, but like it's not as if I'm going to like an event or something or I'm bringing out my own merch or something. I mean, in the future, I would absolutely love to bring out my own kind of makeup range and like be able to tell you guys like oh i've got a secret project but at the moment no anyway guys here is the end of the q a slash questions i've been avoiding i'd say so if you guys have enjoyed please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe because we are getting closer to the four thousand subscribers mark and maybe by this video is uploaded it might already have hit it who knows please subscribe and show your support and yeah i'll see you all in my next video